Hello, and thank you for joining us as we share with you about our program, the American Language Program in New York City at Columbia University. We hope this little presentation will give you information that you need to plan for studying English wherever you are in the world. And if you have any questions, you can always send us an email. So I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Jana Quigley. I'm the Assistant Director of ALP Student Life. And I'm joined by our director, Mary Pickett, who's going to start by sharing with you a little bit about our program. Hi, everyone. We hope that you find this presentation helpful. Um, OK, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, just a general picture about the American Language Program. Um, we've been around for a long time, over 100 years on campus, and we're actually one of uh, only two Ivy League intensive English programs. So that gives you a great opportunity to study on campus at a, at a really uh, well-known and prestigious university while also learning English. Um, we have a very experienced faculty. They have taught for many years. Um, and we do have a very rigorous academic program. We push our students um, and we have uh, clear language objectives at each level um, so that um, you, you really work on, on achieving your, your goals. And I think because we are on campus at an Ivy League university in the middle of New York City, we, we, we really do have um, a unique educational and, and cultural experience for our students. Um, finally, I, I will also say that our program is accredited by the Commission on English Language Program Accreditation, and we're a member of English USA. So, um, a little bit of information about the student experience. So, um, our intensive program um, is integrated skills, and by that uh, I mean that we we teach uh, all of the skills together at the same time. So, we don't have a reading teacher or a grammar teacher. Uh, we teach reading, writing, listening, speaking uh, in context um, with grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary too. It's a more natural way of learning a language. Um, the other thing that students can expect to do in our classes is to actively use English. Um, students in our classes um, speak a lot and, and participate often because we think that that's the best way to learn. Um, you will also learn English around different themes and topics. So we think it's important to, to learn English in context. You'll look at different important issues. Uh, you'll read and listen to um, newspaper articles and podcasts and news broadcasts um, and explore English that way. Um, you'll also learn about US culture. Um, we think that that is an important way to explore a language. And also you'll learn about other cultures too. Um, there are students from many different countries in our classes. So it's really a multicultural experience. And then one of the other things is that you will also learn to think critically. Um, you'll ask questions, think about things in different ways uh, and not always accept everything that you read or listen to. It's an important part of our program and it's an important part of studying at a university in the US. Um, so if you, notes about our class levels and our curriculum. We have eight levels in our program. Um, we don't teach absolute beginners. Um, you have to come to our program with a basic level of English already, pre-intermediate, um, but we teach up to a very high level, uh, very advanced. So in the mid range of our program level six um, is about B2 level on the common European framework, if you're familiar with that. Um, student at that level can expect to score around 72 on the TOEFL, which would mean that you are university ready. Um, but our upper levels of the program at level eight, nine, which is more like C1, C2 level, the top level of the common European framework, around probably a 95 on the TOEFL. At, at that level, uh, you're not just ready for university, but you're ready for a top university. Uh, and you're really competing with the best of the best. Uh, um, and that includes maybe even getting into Columbia. Because we are on campus at, um, at Columbia, we do teach academic English. Um, so you'll learn how to write essays, make presentations and academic skills like note-taking, reading quickly, participating in discussions. Um, but a lot of those skills are transferable, for example, to the workplace. So if you're more interested in studying English for, uh, for your job, uh, you will learn a lot of important uh, skills and language to help you. 
And then of course, um, we also teach how to be uh, a student in the US being part of, of a US classroom may, may be very different than your academic experiences uh, in your country. So we'll also teach you about US academic culture. Um, we offer a very supportive and collaborative learning environment. Um, we have uh, very serious academic classes. Um, they're fun, but, but you do get pushed hard and you're expected to work at a very high standard. Um, and we do have very small classes. Our, our usual maximum is about 15, but right now we're, we're running classes between six and 12. And, and um, so that, that gives you plenty of opportunities for practice and, and exposure to, to language. And the other thing that we do in our program is we give you a lot of feedback and error correction on both your written and spoken English. And we think that that can really help to uh, improve what you produce in English. It's a very important part of our program. Uh, right now, of course, the, uh, the New York and Columbia uh, that you're getting exposed to is more of a virtual experience, although things are uh, opening up here in New York and we do have classes in person. Um, and we do offer also a, a virtual community to, to, um, to, to bring students together. That's also a very important part of what we do. Um, we are very lucky to have a, a, an experienced faculty. They are truly experts in their field. Um, we have 15 full-time lecturers and senior lecturers, and then around 15 or 25 part-time faculty, depending on the, the time of year. All of them have a, an absolute minimum of a master's degree. Many of them have doctorates or are working on their doctorates in teaching English to speakers of other languages um, or applied linguistics, something of that nature. Um, as I said, they are very experienced. They write textbooks, they speak at conferences, um, and they are truly leaders in the field. Um, in terms of what's happening in 2021, um, the format for spring has not fully been decided by the university, but we hope to do what we're doing right now in fall 2020. Um, so that means that we will likely be offering both intensive and semi-intensive classes. Uh, and I'll speak about what they are in, in a moment. The format for summer has not yet been decided, um, but we again also hope to offer um, some in-person classes um, in the summer. We have shorter options available in summer, um, three, four week intensive classes. We also have an eight week um, advanced academic preparation course and, and a three week uh, business English course. So uh, our intensive classes right now are being offered um, as a mix of on campus and Zoom. So that means on some days you, you are on campus and some days you have remote classes. Um, we wanted to offer 100% in-person classes for safety reasons, that's not possible, um, but, but our students did want to be on campus and so we do have some on-campus days um, and it, it's working out nicely. Um, in the spring, our semester is 14 weeks long um, and in summer we have various four-week sessions, as I said. Um, our classes meet for 18 hours per week. Um, and we have generally um, a, what we call a university style schedule. So classes may vary depending on the day of the week. So you might start at 10 a.m. and then have another class in the afternoon, or maybe some days you start at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so it can change. You can expect to do homework every day, uh, a minimum of one to two hours at least, uh, and also at the weekends too. And you'll be working with two or usually three instructors per class. And um, they work closely together um, to, to create your course. And if we are in person in the spring, uh, attendance on campus for those classes is required. So on a campus day, you are required to be in class. There's no Zoom connection. And then on a day when uh, you have a Zoom class, you can just attend via Zoom. And then uh, for those of you who, who cannot get either to the US or, or, or cannot uh, come to campus, uh, we do also have a semi-intensive class so that you can join from anywhere in the world. Uh, in spring, we have two seven week sessions and you can do one or you can do both. Um, the summer is to be confirmed. It really depends on the format of our classes in summer. If our intensive program can be offered 
in person in summer 2021, then we will probably still offer semi-intensive online. If our intensive classes are only online in summer, then we might reconsider our semi-intensive. The semi-intensive is very similar to the intensive. It's just slightly less hours per week. So we have 12 hours of synchronous classes, Monday through Thursday, eight to 11 in the morning, uh, Eastern time in New York. Uh, and then we also try to lower the workload. So maybe about four hours of homework per week. Um, and you do also get some extra small group one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teachers as well. And with our semi-intensive, there are two instructors who again, as with our intensive work very closely to create the curriculum. So um, Jana, maybe uh, you could tell us a little bit about who our students are. Yeah, so we are so happy to welcome students from all over the world. And it's what makes our program special, our diversity. So the ALP is open to anyone over the age of 17 who already speaks some English. So like Mary said, we don't have classes for absolute beginners. Um, but most of our students have academic plans in the US. Um, this is not a requirement, but we know that our students are working on these other things, that next step, getting to university, starting a career. And so that's why our program is so academic and focused on uh, the university setting. Most of our students come from places like China, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, and Japan, but we get students from all over the world. So you'll see in this picture, one of our classes, um, students from everywhere on, on the planet. Um, and so whether you can come to New York or whether you are studying in your home country, we may have an option for you. So I'm, I'm sure you're curious to hear what other students say about our program. So we want to share with you what a few of our students, um, how they sum up the ALP. So for example, Rowan from Saudi Arabia says this, as an international law student, studying at the ALP gave me many benefits besides learning English. It helped me to develop and acquire many skills like critical thinking, analyzing and problem solving. So someone like Rowan, who is on her way to studying law at the master's level at an advanced degree, um, our English classes have helped prepare her for that, to be in a US university and to be able to contribute to that program and to join in class discussions. Uh, let's hear from another student. So Roberta from Brazil says, I like studying at the ALP because I learn English with great teachers and meet people with different customs and cultures. I have cultivated many friendships in the ALP. These moments are special and I keep them in my memory and heart. And I appreciate what Roberta says because the ALP is more than just learning English. It's a chance, like Mary said, for us to learn about ourselves, to learn from others, um, and to really be in a diverse setting where um, it's a unique opportunity to be around people from all, all parts of the world. And then Yoshiaki from Japan, um, he was with us in person and he was also studying with us remotely. And so he had um, a unique perspective joining both ways. So he says, Columbia University's ALP is the world's best academic English course. It is truly wonderful to be able to study this course online with friends, having the same purpose all over the world in a relaxed environment at home. And so I'm glad we have his perspective joining remotely from his home country and how he still gains all of those benefits from being at Columbia in our program. Um, and so like we've been talking about, um, the ALP has so many ways for you to get involved. You're studying English in the classroom, but what can you do outside of class? We try to provide activities each week so that you can be practicing English, you can be meeting other people and making friends. So here's, here are some examples of online activities we might have throughout the week. We could have conversation hours where we discuss different topics. We offer workshops on applying to US universities to help you get ideas 
and uh, prepare your application for US universities. Writing the essay for your applications, which is a very important part um, as you're preparing, we try to help you get started on that. There are book clubs where you can join other Columbia students in reading a book together and discussing. There are lectures by Columbia professors that you can join outside of class. You can uh, sign up for a one-on-one -on -one advising appointment with me and we can discuss any questions you have, getting involved at Columbia, working on applications, and other kinds of support groups, mindfulness, game nights. There are many things outside of class all around Columbia University that we hope to get you connected to. And then in addition, you are a Columbia student and you will be able to access Columbia resources. A big resource on campus will be the library. And so they've been working to um, add a lot of their books, music, movies online. And so if you are studying remotely, you can access, access these online. If you're in person with us, you will be able to study in the libraries and borrow books as a student. There are hundreds of clubs on campus that you can join as an ALP student, whether you are remote or studying in person. In addition, you can get a language partner. And so we can connect you with a student who is learning your language and they can help you with your English. And so that's a fun way throughout the semester to practice outside of class. And then, as I said, different university events and lectures um, addressing topics like climate change and the election and world leaders who come from all over or may join remotely to uh, talk to Columbia students. So we hope that if you join the ALP, you also join the larger Columbia community and get involved. All right, so how do you apply if you're interested? It's very easy. You just go to our website and you can click on the apply now button. This connects you to the online application and you can start it there. Um, you would pay the application fee and tuition deposit and you would complete an online placement test. So if you are applying for intensive, you would need to apply for an I-20 as early as possible. So that way we have time to help you before the semester begins. If you're applying for semi-intensive, you won't need to apply for an F-1 visa or an I-20. You're at home, so you can just complete your application and be ready to study in your home country. And, and I would just add to that, um, our visa office has told us that we are issuing I-20s for the spring 2021 semester. Obviously right now travel uh, is somewhat restricted, um, but we are issuing those I-20s and we have heard that there are appointments for F1 visas uh, at embassies uh, in countries around the world. So um, if you wanna try to get here, we can help you do that. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's where we are with the visas. Okay, a lot of our students uh, who are planning to come in person ask us about housing. I will say that usually the ALP offers dormitory housing. This would be a shared room with a roommate from the ALP, and it is walking distance from campus. But right now, currently, because of COVID-19, housing at Columbia is limited to only Columbia undergraduates and ALP students are not able to get Columbia dormitory. If that changes in the next semesters, uh, we would tell you and we would help you with that. For right now, there is a way you can look for options off campus that are near the Columbia campus. So if you visit our housing page on our ALP website and you click student resources, you'll be able to find out more information of how you can look for places in the area. And we'll of course keep you updated on what changes for dormitory options. Okay, so this gives you a uh, complete picture of, of what we have uh, available up until the end of summer 2021. So we do actually have a, a, a full semi B 
in, in ten, uh, semi-intensive class beginning uh, on October 26th. Um, so there's still time for that. And then we move into 2021 and we have our uh, spring intensive, which begins on January 11th until April 23rd. So that's 14 weeks. And then uh, as mentioned, our spring semi-intensive A and semi-intensive B courses. Um, and then moving into summer, we have our three short four week courses. And with those, you can just do one uh, or you can sign up to do two or you can do all three and study 12 weeks. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, we do also have uh, an advanced academic preparation course, uh, which is eight weeks long. Uh, that is really designed for students who are about to begin uh, their studies at a US university. Um, so it's a very rigorous uh, academic course where you do a, a research project. So it's quite heavy on the writing. So if you need that kind of practice before you begin, it's a great course to take. And then we also have our three week English for professional purposes business course, which is a great course for anyone who, who either works in business or is uh, about to enter an MBA program. Uh, it's an intensive three week course, advanced level for you to brush up your English um, uh, for the business world. Um, uh, you can see the application deadlines that we have on the right side of this page, um, but you can always email us because sometimes uh, there's, there's space available um, after that date as well. Okay, so uh, for more information, we do encourage you to look at our website, uh, sps.columbia.edu forward slash ALP. And then you can also email. So email us at alp at columbia.edu. And if you have questions about your visa, the visa process, we have a separate email for that, alpvisa at columbia.edu. And uh, yeah, we, we hope to welcome you on campus soon. Here we are in front of Alma Mater, outside Low Library. So we're looking forward to our future semesters and please let us know if you have any questions or need help along the way and we hope to see you in the future. Yeah, thanks everyone. Bye.